Okay, so now we will see some definitions related to the friction. So first we have the coefficient of friction. So actually this coefficient of friction, it is the constant value for the two contact surfaces. So it is defined as the ratio of a limiting frictional force to the normal reaction. Okay, so if you draw the free body diagram, So suppose we have one object and this object is resting on the ground like this and we are applying some external force which is the F or F external. Okay. And if you draw the free body diagram for this object. Then in this free body diagram, your first force will be the weight force, which is W is equal to mg. Okay. Then there will be normal reaction, which is offered by this surface on the block. So this normal reaction is N and it is exactly perpendicular. Then there is an external force, which is the F external. And due to this external force, there will be frictional force. at this point okay so this frictional force this is called as a limiting frictional force okay so we take this value as a f max so we can only take the f max when the object is on the verge of motion okay otherwise the force will be just a frictional force it is not the f max value Okay, so F max value we will only consider if the object is on the verge of motion. That means after this point, that is the verge of motion, object will be completely in the dynamic state. That means it will start its motion. Okay, so this is your uh, free body diagram for this object. Now, what is the coefficient of friction? So we calculate the coefficient of friction only for the limiting condition. Okay. So it is the ratio so coefficient of friction is represented as. So this is the mu and it is a mu s for the static friction. So I will write here. This is coefficient of friction for static condition. And it is equal to the ratio of limiting frictional force. To the normal reaction. Okay, so limiting frictional force is nothing but the F max value and the normal reaction is the capital M. So this is your static coefficient of friction F max upon normal reaction. Okay, and from this equation we get the value for F max or the equation for F max this is equal to mu s into normal reaction okay so the surfaces in contact will have this value to be constant okay so if you take two surfaces like this okay so out of that one is wooden surface and other is a glass okay so these two surfaces will have some specific value of friction okay it can have 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.7 but between these two surfaces the value will remain same if you change the surface so right now here we have two surfaces so let us take this block this is the metal block okay let us take this is made up of the iron and this surface it is the wooden surface just take this is one table. So between metal and wood, they will have some specific value for the friction. Okay. So this may be 0 0.2, 0 0.4. So these values are constant for given two surfaces. Okay. So these values we can find out by performing the experiment. Okay. So actually all these values, they are the experimental values only.
So this is the static friction, which is a F max upon N, that is a limiting frictional force upon normal reaction. And for the kinetic friction, so when any object is in motion and the friction acting on that object is called as a kinetic friction. So this is for the dynamic condition and it is represented as this is the mu k. This is a kinetic friction. This is equal to F k upon M. Okay. So F k, this is the kinetic force of friction. So in the graph, so this is the external force. This is like this. So this is taken as a FK, which is a constant. Okay. So this is a kinetic friction. This peak value, this is called as a limiting friction. This is a FX. This is for static condition and this is for the dynamic condition. Okay, so actually your FK value is less than the F max value and therefore the coefficient of static friction is always greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction. Okay, so we have to use this formula when we will solve the problem on the equilibrium that is equilibrium uh, in the friction. Okay, so next definition is we have the angle of friction and angle of repose. Okay. So let us see what is meaning of angle of friction. So it is the angle made by the resultant of the limiting frictional force, which is a F max, and the normal reaction N with the normal pH. So definition of angle of friction is, so it is the angle made by the resultant of limiting frictional force which is a F max and the normal reaction. Which is N with the normal reaction. Okay. So let us see what is the meaning of this definition. Just we have an object which is resting on the surface. So object is having the mass N. Okay. We are applying some force on the object. This is the F external force. Because of this external force, there is a friction. So this friction, so we will take this friction to be at max. So we will consider this is the limiting condition or the object is on the verge of motion. Okay. So this object, its weight will act in the downward direction. This is the mg and the normal reaction will be like this. So this is the n. Okay. So definition is angle of angle made by the resultant of limiting friction force F max and normal reaction with the normal reaction. So we have to find out the resultant of this F max and M. So consider this is the point. At this point, we have two forces. One is F max and second, we have the normal force, which is M. So how you can find out the resultant? So resultant will be somewhere like this. So this is your R value. Okay. So this R value, we can find out as R square is equal to F max square plus N square. Okay. After that, you can take the square root. So you will get the value for result. So similarly here, we have to find out the resultant of F max and N. So just I will extend this line of action. So that you will get this point. Okay. And then you can show the resultant in this way. So this is your resultant. Value. Now the angle made by the resultant with the normal reaction. So this angle 
This is called as an angle of friction and it is represented as a phi. Okay, so now we have got meaning of what is meaning of phi. Angle made by the resultant of a limiting frictional force at max and normal reaction with the normal reaction. Okay, so this is your result. And this is normal reaction and this is the angle between resultant and normal reaction. Okay, so this value is phi. And this phi, it is related with the coefficient of static friction, that is a mu s. Okay. So if you know the value of phi, then you can directly find out the value of the mu s. So let us see how to find out that value. So right now we have the value for resultant or equation of resultant, which is equal to square root, which is the at max square plus n square. Okay. So your at max value, this is equal to mu s into normal reaction. So in this way, you can find out the resultant value. Now, what is the formula for the static friction is we have mu s is equal to f max upon normal reaction. Okay, this is the static coefficient of friction, limiting force of friction upon the normal reaction. Now, if I use here tan phi. Okay, so what is the tan phi? So tan phi we can write by observing this diagram. This is equal to f max upon normal reaction. Just observe this diagram. So if I construct the rectangle, so this f max we can represent it here. So this will be f max value, and this is the phi value. So tan phi will be f max that is opposite side upon the adjacent side. So adjacent is normal reaction. So we can write this formula, put the value of f max from this formula, f max is equal to mu s into n and upon the normal reaction. Okay, so remaining value is mu s. So your coefficient of static friction, this is equal to tan phi. Okay, so this is the relation between the coefficient of static friction and the angle of friction. Okay. And the next part or next definition is angle of ripples. 